Today, we're going to review the search capability within the Atlas platform. Search is a tool that allows us to explore the OMOP standardized vocabularies and to identify the sets of concepts and codes that we are going to be able to use in any of our analysis. To use search, we just click on search on the left hand side where we're brought to a screen where we can either search for some particular concept we might be interested in or we can import our ability to search based on concept identifiers, source codes, or a concept set. Today we'll talk about how to search. In this search bar, we can type in any word or code that we might be interested in exploring. Say that we are interested in doing a study of hypertension. We can simply type in the word hypertension and search for available concepts. Once the search returns are displayed, um, we're brought into this tabular view that I'll, I'll explain now. Over on the right hand side you see a table that provides information associated with the concept ID, the concept code, the concept name, the class, a record count and a descendant record count, a domain, and a vocabulary. What we can see is by searching for the string hypertension that we've gotten a variety of different terms to show up. In fact, 1,278 different concepts that contain the string hypertension from across a variety of different vocabularies and, and domains. On the left-hand side of the screen, you can see facets that allow you to filter and narrow down this information. You can filter this information by vocabulary. Here you can see that hypertension appears in vocabularies including SNOMED, MEDRA, ICD-9, ICD-10, etc. We can also filter by class, by domain, by whether or not the concept is a standard concept to be used in Odyssey analyses, whether or not it is valid, whether it has records, and whether it has descendants counts. So when I typed hypertension, if I was interested in a standard condition con concept, I can click on any of these filters on the left hand side and we can see that the information to the right is then uh, filtered accordingly. Here we now are left with 238 different concepts. This table as a default is sorted by the number of record counts uh, in your source data. So here we can see that the concept of essential hypertension, it has a direct record count of over 177 million in this particular source and a descendant record count of 240 million, indicating that this concept or more specific concepts are actively persistent in our data. If I'm interested in exploring this particular concept further, I can click on the concept essential hypertension to explore and navigate it within the vocabularies. When I click on essential hypertension, we're brought to a details view that describes this particular concept. Essential hypertension belongs to the condition domain, and it is a clinical finding within the vocabulary of SNOMED. The standard OMOP vocabulary identifier is 320180, but if you are interested in the identifier used within the SNOMED vocabulary, that's provided here as a concept code and we can see that this is a standard and valid concept, meaning that it can be used for any Odyssey analyses. The next tab is the related concepts, and this is, allows us to navigate the OMOP standardized vocabularies to explore relationships between essential hypertension and things that it may be related to. The same navigation applies. You have a tabular display showing you related concepts with facets on the left-hand side to allow you to navigate and explore uh, this, this list uh, and filter down to information that you might be interested in. For example, if we are interested in standard concepts, we may be interested specifically in whether or not there are broader terms than essential hypertension that might be interested. I can select has ancestor of, and we can actually see that essential hypertension has an ancestor of hypertensive disorder, which happens to be a disorder of the cardiovascular system, which happens to be a cardiovascular finding, which ultimately is a disease and rolls up to clinical finding. Navigating these set of relationships can allow us to explore and identify the clinical terms that we're interested in using for our analysis. 
An additional way to explore these relationships is through this tab called Hierarchy. By selecting the Hierarchy uh, tab, we specifically get a representation that shows us the parents of the concept of interest and the children. Here in the middle of the screen, we can see we are still focused on essential hypertension as the concept, but its parents within the OMOP standardized vocabulary include multiple terms from the Medra vocabulary and one parent in the SNOMED vocabulary called hypertensive disorder. We can also see that there are multiple ways of specifying essential hypertension with additional granularity represented by the children concept. Here we can see that there's concepts for benign essential hypertension, malignant essential hypertension, etc. Between the hierarchy view and the related concepts view, we have the ability to explore and navigate any particular concepts that we may be interested in. We started this search on the search page by typing the word hypertension. Sometimes you may know a particular code that you are interested in. For example, if I was particularly interested in ICD-9 code 401 dot, I can type in that code in my search and the search is going to explore all of the vocabularies to determine if there are any codes that contain that string. Here we can see that there are three vocabularies that have 401 dot, including the ICD-9 vocabulary, uh, which has codes for benign and malignant essential hypertension. By looking at these codes, we can actually select a particular source code. We can then learn more about it. In this particular case, seeing that this is an ICD-9 code for malignant essential hypertension, but also highlighting that it is a non-standard code, meaning that this is not the common representation to be used to explore uh, the condition across the Odyssey community. But by clicking Related Concepts, we can actually identify what concepts are related to this non-standard code. And here we can see that the non-standard ICD-9 code for malignant essential hypertension maps to a standard SNOMED concept of malignant essential hypertension. And by selecting that malignant essential hypertension, we can use the related concepts or the hierarchy to navigate our way back to find that a parent of malignant essential hypertension is essential hypertension, and by clicking on there, we're back to where we started, identifying essential hypertension as a disease, which is a hypertensive disorder and has multiple children concepts. This concludes our summary of how to explore hypertension in the uh, vocabulary. If you are interested in additional details about how to use Atlas in the search experience for other concepts, or you'd like to learn more about the Odyssey community, uh, please check us out at odyssey.org.